So with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, many non-essential stores and businesses are closed in order to minimize the risk and risk of spreading the disease. And with those stores and businesses are stores and businesses that sell bubble tea. And if you know me, I'm highly addicted to bubble tea. And rather than going outside and trying to find a place that will be open, will be open and sells bubble tea, I decided to try to make my own bubble tea. And this is how it went. All right, so I'm here in my kitchen. I have all my ingredients set out here. I will show you guys. I have my green tea that's been sitting in the fridge for overnight. I got my milk and honey mixture over here. And I got some strawberries. I'm gonna to try to be making strawberry milk tea. All right, so now we're gonna put all of it together and mix it up. So here we go, green tea. So this is one cup of green tea. Then we have our milk and honey. So instead of using syrup, I'm using honey as the, whatchamacallit. I'm using honey as the, the sweetener. Now we have our strawberries. I don't know why that took me so long. I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay. I wish I had tapioca, but I do not. All right. This part of the video, it's gonna get pretty loud. All right, so we just finished mixing it all up. Here's gonna be the first taste of my first ever bubble tea. It's pretty good overall. Uh, pretty good. I think I use a bit too much green tea. I can add a bit more sweetener. That's still good. Uh, I'm very happy with it. it uh, and maybe more strawberries to give it that extra strawberry flavor. Other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. So we have our green tea brewed up in here. I also added honey. And then we're going to add our milk in here because I got to add a, tea, a tablespoon and a half of milk. All right, first we're going to add our tea. I mean, kinda? Okay, now for the taste test. No, it, it literally just tastes like honey. It's, there's a lot of honey. All right guys, so we have our cup of tea here. We have our milk, and we have our shit ton of sugar. Let's do this. So, pouring the sugar into the tea. Fantastic. Pouring the milk. Well, oh, that's a good color. This is a this is a way better color than the one I got earlier today. Well, I guess because I was using green tea before, and this is just, and this is black tea, so that's probably why the color looks more uh, milk tea-ish. Oh, that's sweet. That's that's hella sweet. What the heck? All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I just went to get my tub of ice. I'm gonna add it to this and see how that how that goes. Let's add a bit more. Yeah. Give it a good stir. Give it a good stir. That's actually pretty good. This time I have coffee mate and my second batch of uh, black tea that's been chilling. Literally, I put it in the fridge. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll go one tablespoon at a time. Or yeah, one tablespoon at a time. See how much should be in there. Because this one, I guess this one, this one's not really a exact formula. I'm just gonna Mix. Mix harder. Oh, jeez. That's not sweet at all. This is like, this is no sugar. I kind of miss the sugar. <laughs> Alright, so this is 
basically the black tea, milk, and sugar combination, and it's pretty good. I just reduced the amount of sugar in it, and it turned out well. It's not as creamy as the other, uh, as in-store ones, but that's fine. We'll set that one to the side. So, obviously, these are still work in progress. I'm still trying to perfect the formula. Also, apologies for the audio. It's very echoey in here. I don't have a mic. Uh, this is, a, again, another just black tea with ice in it. This time, I'm going to try to put condensed milk. So, there's no exact measurement. I'm just going to eyeball it. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Whoops. Put that in there. Mix it up. Give this one a try and see how this compares to that one. So, uh, again, I just experimented with the condensed milk. It still tastes good, but still a bit of a tea flavor to it. Maybe I could add more milk as opposed to the recipe that I've worked on where it actually does taste like milk tea it's a bit more watered down than I would prefer but the flavor is still there which is nice and again rather than using two cups of sugar or not two cups sorry two uh, tablespoons of sugar I used I think it was like half a tablespoon I don't remember it uh, but yeah thank you for tuning in and hopefully watching to the end and seeing my bubble tea journey and experiment. I really appreciate it guys and I will see you in the next one.